a surefire way to never get hurt. Imagine a life free from heartache and disappointment, a world where you are impervious to the pain that comes with emotional vulnerability. Picture yourself gliding through your days without the sting of rejection or the ache of unfulfilled dreams. Sounds perfect, doesn't it? After all, you've learned from an early age that vulnerability can lead to pain. A harsh word from a friend, an unreciprocated crush, a family argument. Each instance teaches you to guard your heart. This foundational fear shapes your approach to relationships in life. You begin to understand that vulnerability is a double-edged sword, capable of bringing both joy and sorrow. Your instinct to protect yourself becomes the cornerstone of your emotional defenses. As you grow older, you start constructing your fortress brick by brick. First, you hold back your feelings, and you certainly don't let anyone see your weaknesses. This way you prevent others from having the power to hurt you. Next, you refrain from sharing your opinions. By keeping your thoughts to yourself, especially on controversial topics, you steer clear of potential conflicts and judgment. You begin to distance yourself from people and avoid deep connections that could lead to betrayal. This isolation does protect you from immediate pain, but it slowly starts to build a barrier between you and the world. Your fortress grows stronger as you decide to avoid participation in activities that might expose you to failure. Convincing yourself that staying in your safe zone is the best way to avoid disappointment, you reinforce your emotional walls by constantly reminding yourself that you don't need anyone else. Building a narrative of self-sufficiency, you tell yourself that relying on others is a weakness. At this point, your defenses are at their peak. You've perfected the art of non-participation, and your emotional fortress is impenetrable. You live by the mantra that hope is a dangerous thing. You don't expect anything from anyone, as you firmly believe that people will only let you down. While this approach keeps you safe from unmet expectations, unfortunately, it strips away the joys of surprise and fulfillment that come from human connections. You've built walls around your heart so high that you've effectively isolated yourself. The fear of getting hurt has led you to a place where you're no longer living, but merely existing. Your fortress meant to protect you has now become a prison. As you reflect on your life within these walls, the consequences of your choices become painfully clear. You've successfully avoided heartbreak, but you've also missed out on love. You haven't experienced the deep connections that come from sharing your true self with others. By avoiding conflict, you've silenced your voice and forfeited the chance to engage in meaningful conversations. The distance you've maintained has left you without close friends or a support system, and your refusal to take risks has kept you from achieving your goals and realizing your potential. Essentially, you're left with a sense of regret, wondering what could have been if you had dared to step out of your comfort zone. As you stand at this crossroads, you face a crucial decision continue living in your fortress, or dare to embrace vulnerability. The side effects of your protective strategies are undeniable. You've shielded yourself from pain, but at what cost? Love, connection, and personal growth all require a degree of vulnerability and risk. Without them, you're left with a life that is safe, but ultimately unfulfilling. Embracing vulnerability means accepting the possibility of getting hurt, but it also opens the door to profound joy and fulfillment. It means taking risks, hoping for the best, and being willing to face the consequences. The point I'm trying to make is that rather than building impenetrable walls to avoid getting hurt, find a balance between protecting yourself and allowing yourself to be vulnerable. It is possible to set healthy boundaries that safeguard your well-being while still engaging with the world around you. This balance creates a life rich in experiences, connections, and achievements. You may still encounter pain and heartache, but you'll also experience the full spectrum of human emotion and the deep satisfaction that comes from living authentically. So, are you ready to lower your defenses and embrace vulnerability? Share your thoughts and comments below. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends so we can keep making them. For more videos like this, hit the subscribe button and don't forget to click on the notification bell. That way you'll get notified of our next post. Also, to learn more about many other interesting topics, be sure to check out our other videos as well. Thanks for watching.